Well, so far this year, Columbus has over 100 homicides and nearly 1,000 felonious assaults. Local artists would like those numbers to drop by using their artwork to bring peace. 10 TV's Richard Solomon has their efforts. It's like black background and then this gradient between like yellow and blue and purple. Francesca Miller sees art in every space. Endless possibilities. <laughs> so like me, I automatically see like a bunch of color and life that could come out of it. She's expressed her emotions, her feelings with a paintbrush since she was six years old. Like our joy, our excellence, our success, um, just highlighting like the not traumatic side of things. But now she sees where her work could be most beneficial. Miller says the Linden community has been painted as a neighborhood in flashing lights and violence, dull and unwelcoming. And when you constantly see that, you kind of you feel stuck there. You feel like, all right, this is my narrative. And it's like, no, there's more to that. And that's where she says artwork comes in. Exactly. That's exactly why she and Becca Beach want artwork spread throughout the streets, on boarded up businesses and spaces that have been forgotten. Seeing public art in Linden is something that the community can enjoy, but also it can send like a larger message and it can bring people together and bring joy. Becca Beach is the outreach coordinator with Linden Murals of Empowerment. She says they have 30 pieces of artwork from the protests of 2020 and they're already working with some Linden community leaders to create and add art throughout the community. Brush to canvas to the heart. Miller sees Linden as an empty canvas waiting to be repainted. Seeing that people took time to invest and create something beautiful in the space you live in helps you take pride in it. In Linden, Richard Solomon, 10TV News. The group Linden Murals of Empowerment is looking for volunteers. Just visit the group's Facebook page for more information.